I miss my people. I miss my friends. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Yo. I just miss you guys. I can't be on lawn. I'm just waiting for my taxi. I feel so bad. I'm so alone. I'm so completely isolated. Because I don't, I don't go anywhere. Because it hurts too much to walk. And it was like, I felt like I was accomplishing something with my Twitch, like, I was helping people, I was making people happy, I was giving people, you know, something to listen to while they're at work. I felt like I could do something, you know? And they took someone who's completely isolated and, and, and sick and, and like took their outlet away. Another outlet. And I don't deserve it. So I didn't do anything wrong. And so I'm asking everyone if you could just try to contact Twitch and say and show the proof and, and try to let them know that it was like a false flag campaign that went on. Like, let them know. Because I, I, like, seriously, I... I don't want to keep going on like this in my life. Where I feel like I'm getting somewhere. And then it's taken away from me. It's been happening my whole life, like... Bunch of people are telling me to fight, fight. There's only so many times that you can fight where you just stop fighting. Like you learn that you can't control everything. And you learn that life is completely fucking unfair. And you learn that the world is full of people that just want to fucking pull you apart. You know, I know what Jesus meant when he said hating an individual without a cause. I'm that individual that people hate, usually without a cause they just hear other people hating me and they're just influenced to do it to others and then that influences others and it turns into this big giant snowball effect and that's what happened to me 
and I became more reactive, and when I became more reactive, these people would clip what I say, and I'd look like a fucking demon. But they're, they, wouldn't they wouldn't clip the things that are good, the things that are kind, which is the majority of the time, no. They clip the reaction. Let's make someone look evil. And anyone would react going through such fucking hatred. There's only so much a person can take. And there's, there's a point where you have been reactive, you have fought, you have gotten angry, you have just whooped people's butts but there comes a point in your life where you don't have the energy for it anymore and I don't I don't have the energy to fight so if you want my channel back on Twitch you guys gotta fight for me contact Twitch show the proof let them know. But I can't keep going on like this anymore. I can't. I'm too sick. I'm too fucking sick. And maybe this is just God's way of telling me to slow the fuck down. I don't know. I don't know where my future is going. I was I was creating a livelihood for me and my family. And it's just ripped away. Just because people get jealous and they just want to be hateful just to be hateful. And this isn't the first time my livelihood has been stripped away from people like this. It's been several times. I feel like I have no future. I feel like I have no hope. I started getting hope with my Twitch because I was actually making enough to at least support a little bit of us. Just a little bit, not fully to where I would like it, but enough to survive. And I was so forward to being like, oh my god, this is almost over, I'll have my boys back. And it just raped away from me. I was making a good amount of money and it's stolen from me because of jealous people who just want to fucking see me hurt. Who just want to see me go down. I'll say this again that I said on Rumble please get a hold of your congressmen and, and senators and please help people like me and legalize euthanasia so I don't have to suffer anymore and people like me don't have to suffer anymore. Anyway, I gotta go.